What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lodge. I'm back at it again with another YouTube video for you guys. <laughs> Today is Vlogmas Day 19, and I'm happy, baby, because that means only six more days of Vlogmas, and it's over with, like, you know, the whole Vlogmas or whatever. So, I'm coming at you guys with a cook with me, because I'm going to cook, and I'm like, might as well show you guys what I'm going to make for today's video. It is the night time. I'm going to make some din-din, and -din, I'm going to go to sleep, like, period. But, yeah, so, y'all stay tuned. Give this video a big thumbs up. Like, comment down below. Subscribe. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. And yeah, if y'all missed any of my days of Vlogmas, I got a whole Vlogmas playlist, 2020 edition, you know, so you guys can catch up if you did miss out on a day or whatever. So yeah, let me show you guys what I'm going to make me today for Din Din. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to show you guys everything I'm making for myself today, tonight, whatever. I'm going to make these pork chops. I got these from Walmart. And then I'm going to make... Well, that's like the only thing I'm making, and I'm gonna be making mashed potatoes, like my own mashed potatoes, not the ones out the box. I don't really like the ones out the box at all. I only like homemade mashed potatoes. I'm picky and I only like homemade mashed potatoes. Then I'm gonna make, well, I'm just gonna boil these these green giant sweet peas. I love sweet peas. Like, I think that's my favorite vegetable. I love sweet peas so much, especially when they're sweet. Period. I love them. And this is the Green Giant brand. I'm only going to use one little bottle because, you know. And then I'm going to um boil me some sweet mini corn on the cob. These little corn on the cob. going to just boil those. And then last thing on the little menu is my dinner rolls. I'm going to put me some dinner rolls in the oven as well. Because I just top it off my little dinner rolls and... Yeah, I'm gonna get to grubbing. I'm actually make bone. I'm gonna actually make barbecue um pork chops. I'm gonna make them barbecue because they be good. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna let you guys see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off with the um pork chops because they take longer to bake. And then I'm gonna get to the mashed potatoes and then the corn on the cob and then the pizza. <laughs> y'all, so y'all stay tuned to see how it turned out, see if it tastes good or whatever. I'm gonna cook all these pork chops. Cause I'm cut like that. I'm gonna do that. It been thawing out all day, and I was ready to be cooked. So we're gonna get started by cleaning my meat off and all of that good stuff. Okay, y'all. So why I just check my milk? My milk is expired. Uh, so I can't make no mashed potatoes because that's how I make mine with milk, and I mash them up and you know do what I do. Um, add my garlic and stuff, and I can't do that because my milk is expired. So I'm gonna pour this. Oh, yeah, I swear I only get to use my milk to here every time. Oh, well, it's lower than mine. I don't always use my milk because they, it expires before I can use all of it. But, yeah, so no mashed potatoes for me because I don't got my milk. But I still got peas and corn and, and bread and, you know, so it's still going to be some stuff to cook. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to start off by washing my hands and then washing my pork chops off, you know? Yeah. I'm doing right now. I'm gonna wash these pork chops off. All I do is rinse them under the water and wipe them down and stuff. Let's sit this on. All right, y'all. So now my hands is clean. I'm gonna rinse these pork chops off or whatever. I will tell y'all the temperature, but. I don't need no chef boy IDs coming for me in the comment section with all that extra stuff. So, you know, I'm rinsing them off with the temperature that I choose. And, yeah, I'm going to pet them dry, pet them dry, whatever. And we're going to we gonna get to um, seasoning these bad boys and stack them up in the oven. All right, y'all, so I got my stuff. I'm going to put it in aluminum foil and seal it. And, um... But I'm going to stick it in this pan and put the butter in there, all that other good stuff. I'm going to move the camera towards this way so y'all can see better. All right, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can see the Kermit, the camera not cricket. Y'all, my date say the 17th. I just don't care to change it. But I'm going to put the pork chops in here. Let me show y'all what else. Can y'all see me? Euphoria. Euphoria, euphoria. Let it 
Now, y'all hear me? I'm switching back and forth from two sheets on. I'll let you see. Okay, look. I need more, Maria. I got my pork chops. I'm gonna put a little bit of lard on it. Okay, y'all, so this is how my pork chops look. Got my little seasoning and my butter. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna seal them up and let them bake a little bit today brown. Then I'm gonna go in with my barbecue sauce and still let it cook with a little bit of that on it. And yeah. Out of there, so that's what I did. And stick it on the oven. I've been starting my oven, y'all. I started it before I even started filming. They preheated it, and now it's preheated, and stuff, and it's ready for me to put the stuff in there. I'm gonna set a little timer. So I set a 10 minute timer, even though I know that's not long enough, but I want to check on them in 10 minutes. So I set that timer. So now I'm going to get this pot and start boiling a little bit of water. So when I come back in 10 minutes, I'm going to get this pot and boil a little bit of water so the corn on the cob could get to, you know, you know, get for the water to get boiled. And I can get started with my corn on the cob. So yeah. What's up, y'all? So it's been 20 minutes. And my pork chops, they getting a little bit of color to them, but they not done at all, at all. So I'm going to let them keep cooking or whatever. But now I, well, should I do that? I don't know. I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to boil my water just yet because it don't take that long to boil water. So I'm just going to wait it out until my pork chops like look like they done-ish because I don't want my sides to be done before, you know, my other stuff. Yeah, so I see how when this food almost done, close to done. This video gonna be coming up on YouTube pretty late because it's later in the day. That's a little bit of the Lari seasoning right there. Not blood, but it looked like a little bit of blood, but it's not. So y'all, this is how the food cooking up. Uh, cooking up pretty well. It's still not as brown as I need it to be. Ooh, child, that's just hot. So I'm gonna just start boiling my water for my corn on the car right now. basically done kind of the corn basically done peas done i put the barbecue on my pork chops i'm gonna show you guys when i take it all out the oven i am hot hot from all of this like my little cheeks is red i'm hot but i'm gonna show you guys the food when it's all done mm -mm -mm. yeah my food bus my food bus baby Yeah, 
that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And that's the end of today's video. Y'all know the deal. Stay blessed and stay positive. Adios, amigos. Good off the red nose.